Good afternoon, Fresh Future. My name is Miss Brianna, and I'm both honored and excited to teach you today. Wahoo! So our theme for the month of December is the gift. And everyone loves a good gift, right? I do, I do, I do, I do, ooh. But in this season, it's easy to think about what we want to ask for, but you should know that no matter what you may or may not get for Christmas, the Bible tells us that it's better to give than to receive. And Jesus is the perfect example of this. He was born into this world just to give his life for us. And while that is the most beautiful and amazing gift ever, that's not the only gift he gave us. So today, we're going to be exploring the gift of light. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the victory. We pray for clarity when we are confused, courage when we need to stand up for what's right, and for your strength to be made perfect within us whenever we are challenged in our areas of weakness. We are grateful that every word and perfect gift comes from you. Enlighten us as we ready ourselves to learn more about you and your word. Bless all of the children around the world and help us to be bold when we make disciples. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey Fresh Reacher, it's Ava, and it is time for, drum roll please, praise and worship. But before we get there, we have to prepare our hearts and our minds for what God is going to do through praise and worship today. So what I like to do to prepare for praise and worship is to just take a moment, breathe, and think about all the things that God has done over the week, um, and thank him for all the ways that he has shown himself to be amazing. So after that, I'm pumped and ready and excited, and I hope you're also pumped and ready and excited for praise and worship. Yes? Yay! Awesome. Great. Let's worship. I see the light coming. No matter what it is that I'm facing, Jesus to the light. Whoa!
Hey Fresh Future, it's Minister Tiffany here, and as you already saw, it's activity time. Today, you will be solving some riddles, and all of the riddles have to do with our theme for this month, the gift, and of course, the Christmas season. So I hope you're ready to put your thinking caps on. Go ahead, I, I got my thinking cap on. Put yours on now. Like, literally, go put your thinking cap on for this game. All right, okay. The first one is, what do snowmen eat for breakfast? If you said frosted flakes, you are absolutely correct. You get it? Snowman eat frosted flakes. No. Okay. okay. The next riddle is, what is a parent's favorite Christmas carol? A parent's favorite Christmas carol is Silent Night. <laughs> they don't want to hear us singing. Silent Night. <clears throat> Holy Night. Oh, you hear the tone? Here's our next riddle. This ring is made of leaves, flowers, fruit, twigs, and more. And then at winter time, we hang it on the door. What is it? A Christmas wreath. If that's what you said, great job. Big or small, from the heart or from the mall, you get these if you're nice. But even if you're a little naughty, Jesus didn't think twice. What is it? If you said a gift, you're absolutely correct. Of course we had to throw that one in there. It's only our theme. Okay, here's the last one. When you flick the switch up on the wall, this thing up on the ceiling helps fight the darkness for its presence is revealing.
you said a light bulb for that one or a light, you are correct. Light reveals so much. But Miss Brianna has a lot to teach you about that today. So let's open up our eyes, our hearts, our ears, and our minds to receive today's word. Game over. Who were the Magi? To learn about the Magi, we have to go back to the time of Daniel, when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon made him chief over a group of wise men called Magi who studied the stars. Many years later, descendants of this group are mentioned in the scriptures. Matthew records, Now after Jesus was born, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. The Magi traveled a far distance, following a star directed by God that guided them to a house, probably in Nazareth. So who were the Magi? A group of faithful wise men from the East who were experts in studying the stars. Directed by God, they followed a special star to find the young Jesus, future savior of the world. Have you ever looked up on a clear night and tried to count all the stars in the sky? Or, have you ever noticed that one star that seems to shine brighter than the rest? There's a special star, even known today as the North Star, that people follow. And this reminds me of a scripture that I want to share with you today. Matthew 2, verses 1 and 2 read, Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea, at the time when Herod was king. After Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the baby who was born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east. We came to worship him. All those stars are little sources of light in the sky. They're actually a huge gift from God. The Magi were wise men from the east. They studied lots of things including the stars. One day they saw a special star God placed in the sky. They were certain that this meant that there was a new king, a baby born in Israel. The Magi followed this star all the way to Jerusalem, and they asked, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? When evil King Herod heard about this, he asked the Bible experts where the Christ, the Savior and King God promised to send, would be born. They said, in Bethlehem. Herod told them to go and find the child, so that he too could go visit him. However, Herod secretly began planning how to get rid of this newborn baby, King. The Magi followed the star until it stopped over a house. Inside they found a child named Jesus and his mother Mary. There they bowed down and worshipped him. Every gift that God created is good and perfect. We may not realize it, but light is a gift because light draws people to worship. When the wise men of the East saw the light, they went to worship Jesus. And the light that God has placed within us should do the same. When people see us and how we live our lives, they should be drawn to worship because they see the goodness of God in our lives. Light gives revelation. When we have a great idea, it's almost like a light went off. That's called revelation. God gives us revelation about things in his word. Just as the Magi saw the star and knew the Messiah was born, God will give us light about situations that we may be in darkness about to give us clarity and understanding. 
Lastly, light shines in service. As children of God, we need to use this time wisely that we have here on earth and light up the world for Jesus. How can we do this? One, by serving others in Jesus' name. Two, by sharing the gospel and letting everyone know about the goodness of God. And three, praying for those who are in need. By doing these things, the light goes on and on and shines brighter and brighter. Matthew 5, verse 14 through 16 reads, You are the light that gives light to the world. A city that is built on a hill cannot be hidden, and people don't hide a light under a bowl. They put the light on a lampstand. Then the light shines for all people in the house. In the same way, you should be a light for other people. Live so that they will see the good things you do. Live so that they will praise your Father in heaven. So in conclusion, Jesus wants to be found. Even shortly after he was born, before he could even talk, the Magi were able to find him. God used a brightly lit star to lead the Magi to where Jesus was. And in the same fashion, God wants to use us. He wants us to be brightly lit stars to help others find Jesus. When we choose to do right versus doing wrong, we let our light shine. And as a result, our friends, our family, our classmates, even complete strangers see how different we are. They see the light that is within us shine through. And then when we say the secret, that it is Jesus living inside of us, they can't help but see the real light. So let your light shine. Why were the Magi looking for Jesus? because they wanted to worship him. How did the Magi find out where Jesus was staying? Yes, they follow the star. Why is shining the light within us so important?
right. Shining the light within us is so important because it draws other people to Jesus. So how should we live our lives? Yes, we should live our lives in a way that people want to come to Jesus, praise him, and glorify our God in heaven. So key takeaway points from this lesson, guys. Light is a beautiful and perfect gift from God. Light draws people to worship. Light gives revelation. And light shines in service. Do not dim your light. God gave us this light through the Holy Spirit so that we can bring people to Jesus Christ and I love them to know who he truly is. So I petition each and every one of you to allow your light to shine brighter this week, whether it's through acts of service, whether it's through thinking about what God has given you clarity or understanding on, because light truly, truly is a gift from God. Before we go today, I have to ask you a question. Are you saved? If you don't know what that means, I'm asking if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If your answer is yes, that's awesome. But if not, there's two simple things that you have to do. First, you have to declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And the second thing is, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you're saved. And if you wanna make that decision today, we are here to help support you. So you can email us at freshfuture at thefreshstartny.org and we will be happy to help you and disciple you. We love you and hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hey Fresh Future, I hope you guys liked this lesson today. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to share this link, tinyurl.com backslash freshfuturetv. And stay tuned for the bloopers. Alright guys, it's time for a fresh bleh, bleh. 
Okay. Hey, Best Nature, I hope you guys like this video today. Ooh. Don't dim your lights. We lit. We lit. We lit. What? <laughs>